When we think about the possibility of humans colonizing another world, most of us perhaps think of Mars as being the obvious destination. However, several of the moons of the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, might very well offer preferable conditions and increased chances of success. And not only would such colonies be important in their own right, but they would also very likely prove to be crucial in humans exploring even deeper reaches of space, possibly outside of our own solar system. Perhaps the best place to start when exploring these locations for potential cosmic colonies would be the largest of these gas giants. And the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter, which has over 70 moons in its orbit, three of which are of particular interest to scientists. Arguably the most interesting of these is the icy world of Europa, perhaps not least as the vast ocean underneath the icy surface and the rocky inner core of the moon may already provide the conditions that support life, albeit microbial. Indeed, in December 2017, it was noticed by scientists studying Europa that there was evidence of sliding tectonic activity under the thick icy surface, which according to Brandon Johnson, an assistant professor at the Department of Earth, Environmental and Planetary Sciences, increases the chances of life being discovered on Europa, and it's an indication that all of the nutrients for life to exist there are present. There are several theories as to what the cause of this tectonic activity might be, one being that it could be caused by the presence of salt in the water, which would suggest that the ocean under the icy surface of Europa is very similar, if not the same, as the oceans here on Earth. Although landing on Europa would technically at least be possible, there would need to be a lot of further study of the icy world, and a great amount of robotic legwork would have to have take place before such a mission would be possible. For example, the vast majority of the base would have to be constructed well in advance of any landing attempt. And this base would have to be of a structure that could stand potential ice quakes, as well as be able to offer protection from the radiation that the moon is constantly exposed to. A potential site for this base would be on the leading side of Europa, primarily because this part of the moon receives slightly less radiation. And what's more, this location would offer the astronauts a view of Jupiter itself, which would appear to them around 20 times larger than our moon appears to us on Earth. If the astronauts wish to venture outside of the base on the surface, however, they would require equally specialized spacesuits and vehicles that could navigate the treacherous icy ground. Another of Jupiter's moons that could very well be a destination for colonization would be its largest natural satellite, Ganymed, which is also the largest moon in the entire solar system. Like Europa, its surface is largely made up of ice that appears to have vast oceans beneath it. And this ice appears to be much thinner than that of Europa, meaning it would be much easier to break through and explore beneath the surface. And landing and colonization attempts, well, still a ways off into the future, would also require much the same procedures as landing on Europa. Although, the fact that a thin atmosphere exists on Ganymed presents, in theory at least, the opportunity for potential terraforming projects to take place. Although slightly smaller than Ganymed, and orbiting at a much further distance than the rest of Jupiter's main moons, Callisto is another location for potentially landing missions. In fact, its distance from its host makes it favorable for human colonization due to the considerably less amount of radiation it receives. Furthermore, the surface of Callisto is far better suited for the construction of bases, as well as being much more geologically stable.